a rigid fiber optic scope shown here as a shikhani is a J-shaped metal stylet with fiber optic fibers running through it. On one side is the eyepiece, on the other side is the camera. A battery handle is the source of the light at the tip. For RFS assisted endotracheal intubation, a ET tube is placed over the shaft of the stylet. Now with the patient in neutral position and with limited mouth opening, I see the tip of the stylet going through the patient's teeth till I can see the uvula. Now as I straighten out the stylet, I see in sequence the patient's epiglottis I go under the epiglottis, see the trachea, I enter the trachea and as soon as I do that, I take out my stylet in one sweeping motion. To revise, see the stylet going through the patient's teeth, follow the base of the tongue, see the epiglottis, go below the epiglottis, visualize the vocal cords, go towards the vocal cords and then through them till you reach the trachea. Once inside, push the ET tube under direct visualization and withdraw your stylet. Once the ET tube has been placed, the confirmation of placement correctly is done using regular methods, for example capnography and seeing the chest rise with ventilation. My modification is the multi-lumen endotracheal tube introducer. This tube introducer would come in its own sterile package and will be made up of a total of three lumens, one for oxygenation, one for the RFS and the last one would be for lidocaine and oxygen. First, place the multi-lumen endotracheal tube introducer on the shaft of RFS. Now, we can either attach the suction catheter and the oxygen catheter or use this as standalone. After removing the 15mm adapter from the ET tube, place the ET tube on top. From this point onwards, the endotracheal intubation goes as normal. After seeing the tip pass through the teeth, I look at the uvula, I straighten up, follow the base of the tongue, see the epiglottis, go below the epiglottis into the trachea and remove the tube. To revise, follow the base of the tongue, visualize the epiglottis, go below the epiglottis, visualize the vocal cords. Get near to the vocal cords and go through them into the trachea and then push the ET tube into the trachea while withdrawing under direct visualization. After removing the stylet from the endotracheal tube, the adapter is placed back in and the balloon is inflated. Confirmation of correct ET tube placement is done by capnography and also by seeing the movement of the chest as well as auscultation with ventilation. In a, in a patient with stenosed airway, the 
मल्टी ह्यूमन एंड्रोटेकल ट्यूब इंट्रोड्यूसर कैन बी यूज विदाउट अ एंड्रोटेकल ट्यूब बाय इट सेल्फ इट हैज अ फिफ्टीन मिलीमीटर अडेप्टर दैट गोज ऑन टू द ह्यूमन मेंट फॉर द आर एफ एस इन ऑर्डर टू एस्टैब्लिश अ डेफिनेटिव एयरवे अ नॉर्मल एयरवे एक्सचेंज कैथेटर or tube introducer can be placed through the lumen meant for the rfs shaft after this tube exchange takes place normally by putting in an endotracheal tube into the trachea